Well, new at 430, COIN wants to know how ancient formulas are being used to make modern-day clean and green art glass. They're doing it at the Bullseye Glass in southeast Portland. Which is significant because you might remember last year the DEQ put a stop to them using their main ingredient for making green glass. Tim Becker is live in southeast Portland with more on this new process. Good afternoon to you. This is kind of a back to the future thing. The demand for green art glass is huge. So when the ability to make that went away, the folks here at Bullseye went back to the history books to keep customers happy. These are new colors. You can call Sam Andriakos. And the one we see on the right is uh, chromium green. The color king. Well, it's still ancient. I mean, what we do is, is still harkens back to antiquity. And the chemist at Bullseye, where elements paint the palette used to create the rainbow world of art glass. Some lighter. So when chromium, the go-to element for making green glass, was disallowed in Bullseye's furnaces by the DEQ. Sam clicked right on, on it and just started experimenting unbeknownst to, to me. To find a new method. This harkens back to the 1870s or 1880s here and really talks about the process back then. Sam dove deep into the old world. This goes back to the ancient Egyptians. Problems, we, we love solving problems. And when we look out in the marketplace or out in the world, green is the dominant color in nature. And so uh, customers need that. What he did. The one called 1242 is the new iron copper green. Was combined copper that colors glass blue with iron that turns it yellow. He showed some to me and I said, wow, let's, let's just keep moving on this. This really harkens back to really ancient formulas and stuff. Sam tested and reformulated and he reformulated and he tested some more. Necessity is the mother of invention. Until finally, these are all new greens. Perfecting the recipe. Life's all about challenges and about being excited about what we do. And this was exciting. Well, the greens they have now aren't quite the same as those made with chromium, and it does cost about twice as much to make. But hey, for now, it's meeting customer demand. Live in Southeast Portland, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News.